the question is a patient with a fractured restoration in 1 6 that means it is the upper right first molar okay complaints of pain since four days and iopa taken shows no previous history of rct okay so this could be possible that the patient had a, a carious lesion and on excavation of caries it was noticed that there was no purple exposure and so the entire cavity was sealed with or the cavity was restored with either an amalgam or a composite restoration okay now what has happened is the patient has bitten probably onto a very hard substance and because of the biting the force was so high that it fractured the restoration so if this is your tooth and this is the restoration the patient could have bitten into something hard and because of which there could have been a fracture along this plane and this area has come out whereas this is still intact okay now an x-ray was taken now the patient is having pain since four days and IOPA taken shows no previous history of RCT of course like we just discussed it could just be a restoration however it does reveal a periapical radiolucent lesion so that means when you take the x-ray on the x-ray it was noticed that this is the tooth and these are the roots okay and this area is radiolucent okay so now amongst the four options that you are seeing over here chronic periapical periodontitis is a chronic lesion that means it would have had been there for months or weeks together so this can be easily ruled out okay now chro chronic periapical abscess again the problem with chronic periapical abscess like i told you is that it should be available it should have happened over a period of weeks to months now since the patient is having pain only for four days this can also easily be ruled out otherwise the pain would have had constant patient would have had constant lingering pain or he would have not had any pain at all then third was secondary acute periapical abscess now the pain they very clearly they have mentioned that the patient did not have any history of rct if there was no history of rct that means at that point in time there was no periapical pathology that means the pulp was vital and the pulp was uh, non necrotic as a result that means the pulp was in a healthy state and that is the reason why a restoration was intervened or was suggested and not a root canal therapy that is the reason why it cannot be a secondary of secondary nature because had it been of secondary nature, there would have already been a history of RCT or there would have already been a history of similar lingering pain that was there. However, since the patient does not have that currently, this can be easily ruled out. So that brings us to the answer over here, which is primary acute periapical abscess. Why acute? Because over here, the patient has given a history of four days. And since it reveals a radiolucent lesion, periapical radiolucent lesion, it is a periapical abscess. And since it is uh nascent it is a new lesion it is primary and since it's happened only over a period of four days it is primary in nature